we should be very excited about smart meters uh, from the standpoint of uh, operational aspects at Memphis Light, Gas and Water. Uh, no one will be laid off who is a current MOGW employee because of smart meters. Uh, however, over time we anticipate through attrition that's people leaving on their own or moving into other jobs, uh, 170 fewer jobs at Memphis Light, Gas and Water. That is a large number of employees that would no longer work here. Again, they wouldn't be laid off. They would be eliminated through natural attrition. But that's a great operational savings and that savings would be passed along to our customers. Uh, we feel like that it's very important that we maximize the amount of money that is in our customers' pockets and minimize the amount of a Memphis Light, Gas and Water bill so the customers have more money for rent and for food and for medicine and don't have to spend as much money for utilities. Uh, this improves the economic well-being and the quality of life for our customers. So it's very important that we do everything that we can to, to minimize operational cost at Memphis Light, Gas and Water. One of the uh, unseen benefits is the uh, increased uh, response rate for power outages. And sometimes when we have storms, <clears throat> there might be one large area that has a power outage. And within that large area, there might be two or three smaller outages and when we restore the power to that large area, we don't immediately know currently that those two or three smaller outages within that larger area still are without power. If we had smart meters, we would know that instantly and we wouldn't have to wait for customers to, to call us back a second time thinking that they've already called us once, they don't have to call us twice, but because they were a small outage within a larger outage, we currently wouldn't know that they don't have power unless they called back a second time. With a smart meter, we would know it instantly and we could get their power back up a whole lot faster.